Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have a watch unboxing from MMI Watches. These are the Cuddle Cron watch, and you can pre-order them from the MMI Watches website. I'll leave a link in the description below, uh, but looks like for the month of October, you can get $125 off, so $374. Then next month, November, it'll be $399, so $100, $100 off. Uh, I'm going to try and release this video as soon as I can here. Got a bunch of videos scheduled, but I'll uh, rearrange them so you can take advantage of that discount, that pre-order discount. So, I believe one is a yellow dial. And I'm not sure what the other one is, but we'll uh, find that out together here. Alrighty, let's get this open. Like I said, I'll leave it in the I'll leave a link in the description below to right to the website as well. I believe these were are on Kickstarter or are on Kickstarter. Oh yeah, so here's the yellow dial. Uh, very nice yellow dial. Looks like it's kind of a sunburst effect here. Oh, this is the full loom dial, but we'll uh, check that out here in just a moment. So ceramic bezel insert. Looks like a fully loom. Uh, ceramic bezel insert. Very nice bracelet too. Yeah, they um, up the game with the bracelet here. Usually they have the, the different clasp on here and this looks like it's uh, on the fly micro adjust. So very nicely done. So you pull that little tab to pull the strap out, the bracelet out, and then you can just push it in to get that micro adjust. Nice bracelets. Right, let's look at the other one here. Then we'll check them out in the light here real quick. I'm sorry, in the dark. And I'll have a full video probably in about a week from this video. This one feels a lot lighter. Oh, so it's the bronze version. Um, I saw that on the website as well. Let's see what the bronze prices are. Octo for October, it's $412 for the bronze, so about $50 more than the, $40 more than the stainless steel one. And then for next month, November, it's going to be $434. So the bronze is a little bit more expensive than the stainless steel. That is a nice blue dial. It almost looks like it's translucent. Um, maybe not. It's probably just the shade of the blue. Can't really see through that. But the bezel is blue and then that dial is blue. That's a very nice color. I like that. So we have an engraved case back, a screwed on a case back and, uh, for this one here. Quick release pins, genuine leather. So this is CUSN8 bronze. Looks like a loomed crown as well. Kind of interesting case shape. So loom crown there. So what is that? That's a 430 crown, I guess. Yeah, somewhere around a 430 crown. Okay, so this has a similar case back design, the screwed on case back. I think I would go with the stainless steel. I do actually you know, I have a bronze watch right here. I've been meaning to get back into this one. But um, yeah, bronze watches do patina. I just happen to have this sitting on the table. So I like the look of the bronze when they're when they're fresh. I don't like the patina look. And this has a mixture of brushed and polished surfaces. So let me get each of these on wrist and then I'll close out the video. Uh, you know, speaking of different materials, I'm wearing the Grand Seiko today, the uh, Snowflake. This is titanium, so every time I pick it up, it's super lightweight. It always throws me for a loop. Let's get the bronze on wrist first, and then we'll, I guess I'll check out the loom on these things real quick. Normally I don't do that unboxing, but I think their loom's pretty good, so we'll check that out. 
So I have a six and a half inch wrist with a 52 millimeter wristband. I don't yet know the dimensions of this watch. The boxes are getting in the way of my wrist shot here. I think you get the idea. Actually, it looks pretty small on my wrist due to that case shape. I bet, I bet the lug to lug is the same dimension as the case diameter. So kind of interesting proportions there. Let's get the stainless steel one on wrist. Looks like I may have all the links in here. Uh, screw links, so I will size this for the full presentation. Cool looking watch. It's a different case shape than what you're used to seeing. And then the bracelet looks like it's kind of integrated in there. So this is pretty neat. So I'll have to remove probably four links to get to fit my wrist. But yeah, there's a lot, a lot more uh, open space on each side of the watch here than what I'm used to. I don't know if this is a sunray effect or not, but it's it's definitely a bright yellow. All right, let's take a look at the loom here real quick. Zoom in, turn off the lights. I know it was on my lap, but it just fell off. Oh yeah, that's got to be a full loom dial. Plenty of loom here. Uh, that's a that's a really interesting color yellow. It's there's something different about that yellow dial, but um, you can see here it is fully loomed. It looks like the date uh, indicator is loomed as well. It of course is easier to see it on the blue dial, but that full loom yellow dial is very cool. Bezel actions a little on the light side, but uh, not too light. And then we do have a loomed crown there as well. All right, that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.